methods in a way that how to call your Apex class methods use inside a lightning component, okay? See, it's not something like always you will be dependent on your lightning component. At least you need to get some of the data from a backend which will be supported by a Apex classes, okay? So we'll see how we can do it. There are ways that we can do. For now, what I'm doing, I'll, let me create one component called SFDX colon Aura, create Aura component. And I'll say my Aura component name is account table. I'm saying that account table, okay? Or it would be nice to say account details. My component name is account details. So I'll be using same implementation available for our pages and this stuff, right? Clear? So, and then what I'll do? This is my account details component without any weight. So we'll go and we'll modify our page here. We'll add that component straight away to this point, okay? Let it get deploying. So how our component structure? We have like first name, we have like last name, and we have fields like first name and last name, and we have a parent component with these two are communicating through application event. Now we are adding one more component called account details, okay? <coughs> Deploy, it got deployed. Let me update this page, edit. I'll add my account details component to this place. Account details component. Okay, this is my account details. It's good that we add it. Save back. And you are here, so we got our component loaded. So now what we need to do, let's define this as one parent dev. And I'll define my class equal to SLDS cot. Here I'll define one more thing called lightning layout oh okay i forgot the name developer.salesforce.com so I need to have a search here. I need to have one component which will do a search for me, okay? Search in the sense account name search and something like this, I need to get that. So for that, okay, this is establishing a secure connection. Component library. Component library. Yep. So we have lightning, lightning layout item, lightning layout item. I need a size attribute. Okay, got it. Multiple rows, lightning layout. Now, instead of custom padding, I'll say 12 this is my column size. I'll say 12. Otherwise, I'll say 
10 is my column size lightning input aura id equal to account name value equal to placeholder search for accounts base dot name okay and i'll have one more so the totally we have 12 dev tags right so i'll be having another one called two and i'll say lightning button and i don't queue id value we don't need and we'll say label equal to search variant equal to brand clear what we are doing here we are just adding one input value and we had like a lightning search on click of search we need to get a data right that's expectation let's see whether our output is generated as expected okay so now it got updated let's refresh and we'll see hey oh we have but this is something which is not looking good the reason behind we don't have a label to it so label is such and placeholder something is deviated for this Okay, anyway, let's not worry about CSS now. We can do that alignment later. Now we have the expectation is that if I say parag, if I hit search, it need to display all the matching records of parag. Okay, it need to display all the matching records of parag in bottom. So if I want to get the details first, I need to have my server class defined, isn't it? So let's say SFDX create apex class account ltng controller this is my controller my controller name i just mentioned is ltng controller i didn't so every lightning component method should be enabled as aura enabled and the method should always a static method okay and the return here we are expecting is list of account and method name get accounts such parameters account name here what I'll do return select ID comma name comma rating comma type from account where name equal to colon account name is that right in doing this way in doing this way is right but actually what we are okay this is not getting so what we are expecting we don't want to do exact match if it contains that keyword then we need to throw like it say d parag this is also should return and if i say Parag D, this also should return. The combination should return. It means that we need to check for a like operators, right? String name equal to. So first you need to format that like operators type. Plus your account name. Plus. So this is your. Now this becomes instead of equal to, you will say like name now this will return 
so whenever if there is any exception it will throw aura handler exception okay if something goes wrong it will throw an error deploy let go here and we need to define controller so let's follow the best practices from today whatever business logic will write going forward it should always fall under your helper methods okay call server action i'll show you a two different types of calling server actions okay i'll show you two different types of calling server actions here the first way we can do let's say get accounts helper function component comma event comma helper okay so here what we need to get first we need to get your action name get your action name means apex method name okay when i say action name it's apex method name before you call you need to define that controller here so what is the controller your account controller right your account controller okay and what is the action name here get accounts is your action name clear right so let's say action equal to component dot get because this is also a server action so you have to mention with a namespace c dot your action name c dot your action name and then what we need to set this method have a parameterizer right set parameters for the action this is your second approach action dot set params because you are going to ask in multiple param multiple params is a method so what is the method parameter here you are using account name and how to get a value of this because we are not using any value what we are using we are using id through id we can able to read a data isn't it component dot find your record id i mean component id dot get of v dot value so we discussed in earlier session like how we can read a value based on record i mean component id our ids right once this is done once this is done then you need to call invoke the callback action from the action so now we have to invoke our action dot set callback we have a concept called set callback method close and this is close and in this we have like a different functions we have this component comma the second parameter will be function of response sanction parameter will be function of response this is your response remember in set callback action you have this component this action plus function of response this is your function so inside function you will be having your classification whatever callback you do in rest api and you, you will get a response right state of callback right you will get a state whether it is success or it is fail so we have like a response dot get state S T A T. So this will return either success or it will return either fail. So whenever it is success, whenever it is success, state equal to equal to success spelling right, right? Am I wrong? Is this right? Success spelling. Yeah. Let's say for now what I'll do. Let data equal to 
response dot get written value we have a method called get and written value this will get your data so to see data let's say alert just to check whether we had a data or not total number of records based on the search is data dot length in javascript if you want to read the size of attribute then you need to use data dot length so we also have is something if anything else then you can also say that if it is error or like then you can show error saying that let error equal to response dot here we have get written value here we have get error we have a method called get error so alert i'm just saying alert saying that error so i'll chase json dot stringify which will convert object to string error save deployed now this is your server call that's it once this is done the final important thing you should remember secure dollar secure dollar a dot you need to enqueue your action you need to enqueue you need to enqueue action without this your server call will not gonna happen i mean it will happen but you will not get a results because this call is a asynchronous this call is asynchronous the nq action will always ensure you will get a written value and it get processed so this is also important you always need to nq your action server actions okay so and then what i need to do get accounts so here i will be calling my this method from a controller so the controller will only invoke your helper methods the best way that you can write components is that less code at a controller and all business logic should happen at a helper side and then you have here called value and lightning layout button you can click on click equal to binding operator c dot your activity deploy any question in this in the helper first you will be getting your method name and you will be setting the method parameters this parameter name should always match exactly like this there will be no differences it's a kind of a key value pair okay and then you need to do action callback in action callback there are two parameters one is this which is component and then you need to define one more function that will handle your response state whether it is success or fail if it is success what is the written value if it is fail what is the error and then once done you need to enqueue your action with a method called secure dollar a dot enqueue action and your action attribute here you can define this variable however you wanted you can define like get accounts action or whatever you say this is just for understanding i mentioned this action but ideally you can define whatever you wanted like normal variables refresh it we'll see we have too many parag records i know that like uh, too many things we created much before so i'll say parag such technical stuff went wrong okay this page need to be refreshed such inspect refresh him on me so i am refreshing it from controller from controller we are calling this is get accounts and get accounts help i just mentioned and remember you should not have your controller method 
should not same as this one okay here i mentioned it is same as so uh, okay if i have something like read your component will not get fired i mean it will always throw an error so at least you need to say the difference called accounts ctr the, your methods always should be unique there should not be any duplicated okay so if it is duplicated what happen this helper will always check this controller only it will not go on check in apex class so that time you will get an error might be this time also possibly that might be my error now i updated my one is like a ctr the other one is helper the other one is get accounts in apex server action this method cannot be reusable right if i want to do another call out i need to define all these parameters again and again isn't it so this is like a asynchronous call and the next thing we will discuss about promise function there is say here we can also use leverage called promise functions so i'll show you how that promise function will work for us you can sequence what is next what is next hey after this server call which i need to execute i can say dot then and i can say dot then i can execute the sequence of actions continuously in a synchronous manner here this is asynchronous right if i have two server calls called you don't know which one will come first out in i mean input let's say parak search you got 32 records right so there are 12 records here so it means server action is successful okay let's say if i had any error here let's say in try cache block i'll just say integer integer i equal to integer dot value of i'm just passing integer to string so which is i of course right i'll get an exception no matter what So I don't need. Oh yeah, I need to refresh it. So we'll get an error for sure. If I say error message invalid integer, you got it. Here we don't get data because we never passed anything. Now we'll get it. So this is how it will handle. Even error also, you can handle it nicely. okay let me do one thing but if i click this once if it take more time user will not have any indication whether it is processing or not processing so we have loading icon here salesforce provided by the standard option called loading spinner lightning spinner we have a concepts called lightning spinner this is my spinner okay or you can also take a medium one whatever you wanted medium small this is just a size difference so what we can do we can place the spinner inside our main div we can place the spinner inside our main div and we'll say one attribute here aura attribute name is loading type equal to boolean and then default equal to false and aura if condition right aura if is true your binding operators 
v dot now what happened whenever i call my action whenever i call my action i'll say component dot set v dot loading comma true comma true whenever my action completes whenever my action completes here like if or else i'll say false reply so what happened whenever my invoke action executes it will comes as a true i mean i'm expecting my load should be spin up and if it is successfully completed with all the statements execution then it will set as a false that means that your records processing completed clear oh yes you got me right deploy and whatever data we are getting here we need to store somewhere isn't it let's say i'm storing it to our attribute name equal to accounts type equal to list we can say type equal to list or object array whatever you wanted to say either you can also say account you can also do this way or you can also say just simply list or you can also say object anything is fine okay what i'm mentioning as a list and i'll set my data here component dot set v dot accounts comma data say deploy so here we have lightning data table we have a concepts called lightning data table in lightning data table you can pass your object data you can pass your object data automatically the data will be updated okay even if you want to do a select rows then you can do it for now we'll see a basic data table here what we need to use we need to use lightning data table we need to use lightning data table lightning data table means if you pass a list of data you pass your list of data then automatically the data will be updated so now here lightning layout and i'll say l i g h t lightning layout item here we don't have a columns for now so we are deleting it we'll also discuss what is that column stands for and my key value is the i mean unique identifier in my data table is this one and i'll say size 12 i'll occupy entire padding deploy refresh this is refresh parak search you can see a load icon right now so parak search so now this no actions can be performed this is loading it means it is processing once process is completed then automatically it is getting disabled that what we did it refresh mm -hmm. now say parak such what happened we got a records we got a record the problem here is we don't have a columns defined we have a records we don't have a columns we need to pass columns also how we can pass columns let's say we need to define our columns array so for that again you need to define like our attribute name equal to your table columns and the type equal to list okay 
and how we can define these columns. So, you can see here how they define your, the columns. They are saying that we read our columns and they mention like the label name, the top label name, the field name, what is the field name inside the object and what type of data they are expecting. So, they are adding the data into an array, right? They are adding the data into an array. So, we also have to do the same thing. Uh, before I get a data, here I'll say let or uh, in helper I'll say get table columns function component. So I don't want to define always three. It's okay. If I need only component, I can define only component. Let's say let columns equal to and what is the columns that I need to add? I will say name, account name and field name is name, type equal to text, comma. The same thing follows. If it is a type equal to whatever type you want, you can mention it and I will say rating. rating type equal to text and the next one I'll say type type and field name is type this is called API names okay these are not these are labels these are field names if you want to read data from an object you need to use this one component dot set what is the columns that we are using here this attribute v dot columns comma columns so i'll call this method from here only i'll call this method only when it is success i'll call this method only when this is success how can i get it so i'll say helper dot this component i need to pass only one attribute called component so what happened once this is successful, then I am setting my columns. If it is not successful, I am not setting my columns. Save. Save. Any question here? I am assigning only three columns. That's it. Uh, this is wrong. It should be like this. Yeah, yeah, it's always there. Name type rating. It's there. Like I am using three attributes, and I'm anyway I'm specifying my key equal to ID. So automatically it will consider this ID as its key. So we don't want to mention that column. Whatever you wanted to display here, those columns you need to add. You can see for a, if it is a type currency, you have type attributes: currency, euro. Maximum significant digits is five. You can mention like number of digits it should display. And if it is a URL, whether it should open like within the tag or it should open outside of a tag, right? So you can explore like type attributes. If it is a type other than the text, text you don't have any specific. But if it is a type date, you can define date, how you want a date. Whether you want to define 9 jar 2021 or 901 2021 or 2021 or like 019 you can format the date by using a date format type attributes. So refresh it. If you need more details, you can show into documentation. You can see here like a different different type and type attributes we have here right type attributes formatting with data types so copy search for type attributes tooltip if you want to give a tooltip in the sense over text field name website so you can get all the details like whether you want a date as i said date local month two digit day two digits or like you can see close date you will need weekday equal to long year equal to numeric month equal to long long means number right 
now how the data will display it will display wednesday 20 and everything full details that's what i mentioned you can use the documentation for the, all this stuff it would be easy i really like salesforce uh, lightning component documentation it actually does so many things Parag, search you got the data now let's say deepak if i search i have two records clear any questions but here if i want to do a selection if i want to do a selection then i can say hide checkbox equal to false deploy to source now if i select any records here i i should display somewhere some other components okay how many records i selected i need to display count first here saying that records two records got selected three records got selected or like four records so i need to display count if i want to get that count what i need every click of this selection i need to capture this what type of record i have selected isn't it so we'll see how we can do that but again right i'm not writing on my own i'll be using this documentation i'll ensure that i'll have all the methods available we have data table with select rows we have like see one see this is not my example this is a real case guys okay i'm not saying this example because it is already there because this is something we use in everyday life and we should know how we are doing this so if i can say select toolbar right on row selection there is a event we have called row selection okay this event is called row selection on row selection what we are doing here see oh okay update selected text update selected text select v dot get param selected rows dot length so we have different things here it's not something we'll get only length we have few details and we'll debug this selected rows values and we'll understand what is available in the select rows okay so every day right in real case of course right you will be having the list of data and you have to select and you need to do perform some actions so that's the only thing that i'm talking about here parak search now i have an actions see i can select everything i can select only one so with the less time i can able to do this but now on doing this what we have what is the event that we have here on row selection right uh, on row selection so let's define on row selection equal to c dot selected accounts my method name is selected accounts and i'll go here selected accounts colon function of component comma event comma helper the question for me is that how he got to know that he need to capture only selected rows is there a way that he can figure it out like what type of thing that he need to perform so if you can go to documentation or a specification if you go to specification you can see right you have to read these methods attributes available these are the attributes that will be getting as a params also okay in the specifications in the specification you can see resize step resize column on si on sort on save on row selection there is an action and we have list enables a parametric row selection with a list of key field values what is key field values we have what is the key field value we are using in this table so you will get an id of a record so in this it will hold only key values it will not hold anything else it will hold only key values okay now there is other method also get selected rows this is selected rows it's okay but if i say get selected rows returns an array of data in each selected row 
See, there is two things. Selected rows means enables a programmatic row selection with a list of key fields. Selected rows. But get selected rows will get a list of objects. Okay. This is a method. So for now, if I want to store my selected accounts to a different method, which one I need to use? Whether I need to use selected rows or get selected rows. Uh, my expectation is whatever I select here, I should display here all the details again. Yeah, so try to get a habit of reading the documentation and specifications also. Here we have complete information what you will be needed for your requirement. But you have to go through again and again. Clear? Let's go back example. Here you are, he is using selected row. So let me select this. I don't want to use where. Let me use let. Alert. Data selected. Colon plus JSON dot stringify selected rows this is an attribute so we are using get param so how can i do for a method it's okay to say param but what about method how can i call my get selected rows method It's got deploying, it's deploying, okay. Okay. Now we'll see an output. We'll see an output how we are getting it. So we got it and we have like ID, name and we got everything, right? Whatever selected, we got all these details, right? Every time we have like a selected data. So it's okay that it is getting your data. But this is your selected rows which will get your selected key value based on the keys it's okay but let's say i don't want to capture every time i don't want to capture every time uh, i selected let me put one thing i removed this one okay i removed this field so you understood this right when i say this way you are getting data it's okay get total number of records selected every event you can able to capture that is really nice right on click of every event you can able to capture like what is selected but now i need to display number of records displayed on click of a button here i'll say
very end brand and let's say now you'll understand this difference now if i say on click of this button now i need to get total number how can i get it you remember yesterday what we did from a parent from a parent we called our child method aura method isn't it and what documentation is saying this is a method isn't it how we called our child method from a co parent component we used aura id and we found our child component right we used aura id we found child component based on child component dot method name the same thing also applies in this concept so here we need to use our aura id aura colon id and say account table so this is my component so what i'll do i'll go here i'll say let data table equal to component component dot find because this is an id right so you always need to use id and then once you know id then you can call your method from there what is the method name that is specifying get selected rows but this will return your data right let data equal to this one now i can see alert total rows selected data dot understood the difference between this one this is a parameter from the event you can able to capture this but if it is coming on click of other actions if you want to read a data then you need to use a method clear now you can uh, really uh, segregate right why we need two things one is needed for event let's say as soon as i select a record if i want to do some files then i can use this events i don't want to do at the end of the day i need to get all the selected rows then i can use this concept our method concepts it's totally lightning component is always how you apply your logic that's it now let's say parak set i selected get total records i got total records right now if i select only four and i say get total now you can keep four so it means our method is helping at later point of time but if it is a select parameter we are using then you need to work with the events okay these two things are important at their own point of execution let's say as soon as i select a row i need to update my calculations let's say if i am selecting some row i need to update my order items and everything then what i do then i'll use my this events okay imagine right if you are doing a shopping with amazon if you add a new product automatically your price will update right that is on based on event selection after selecting everything if you want to purchase then you can say that is like a get action that is a method here so it's you how you want it to apply okay